In this video, we will be replacing a dead CPU water cooler. The original cooler was an iBuyPower stock cooler, and unfortunately, they are known to fail. We unplugged the computer and moved it to the shop, where we opened it up and unplugged the cooler, then unscrewed the cooling block. We removed the inside fan first so that we can remove the case screws, allowing us to remove the rest of the radiator. Next, we wiped off the old thermal paste and added some new thermal paste. I thought forgetting thermal paste was a joke, but no, someone almost forgot it for this project. And yes, that is cardboard. The new cooler is a $20 air cooler we got from Amazon, and it works just fine for this computer's specs. We had some difficulty screwing it in because we didn't realize we had used extra force because these screws had springs in them. It's always a bit dicey when you change computer parts, but luckily this was a simple part and it worked the first time we turned the computer back on. The last step is plugging in the power cord. We needed two people to plug in a CPU cooler. I also forgot that we decided to use one of the radiator fans as a case fan instead. We did this mostly just because that was the computer's only fan, and fans are kind of important for a computer. Some sources say that air coolers perform the same as water coolers. They're definitely way less dangerous to have in a computer, but being a gamer, I don't believe that. And I'm sure this is the part where I'm supposed to beg you to like and subscribe and all that, yada yada. Do it if you want, don't if you don't. 